Well, hello everybody. We've now reached uh, 2014 and uh, 2014 was quite the exciting year for me and uh, yeah but, let, but before I get to that let's have a quick look at uh, what happened in 2014. Stayed in yeah. bed all morning Conchita first won the Eurovision Song Contest. I do remember Conchita. I don't remember the song or anything about it to be honest. An Ebola outbreak in East Africa killed over 300 people. Sorry, killed over 3,000 people. Yeah, I do believe uh, at least one person infected with the disease made it to America. But uh, it all ended well, apart from those who died. The new One World Trade Center was uh, officially opened to the public in New York. This is a building that uh, effectively replaced the uh, Twin Towers that fell in 2011. At the World Cup over there in Brazil, Germany beat Brazil 7-1 in what must be quite the worst trouncing I think Brazil has ever had in the World Cup. I'm not sure because I don't watch that World Cup that, that often but uh, yeah I, I saw part of the match and uh, after the fifth goal or so even the Brazilian fans started cheering the Germans <laughs> that, that's, pro that's probably the worst worst match I've ever seen of football well f from the South Americans anyway I remember seeing a previous match with Brazil playing another South American country and uh, it was a thing of beauty seeing those uh, 22 men running around the pitch like in the beautifully organized dance whatever then faced with Germany they're like a group of uncoordinated drunkards who didn't know what they were doing. It was remarkable. Yeah, I do believe the Germans had an octopus to thank for their uh, win. The European Space Agency's Rosetta probe launched a little probe and landed it on a on a comet. Uh, quite an amazing achievement, and. Uh, and the man who had uh, pretty much overseen the whole thing, must have been 10-15 years of his life doing this, was uh, berated by some for wearing a, a t-shirt that some people, for wearing a shirt that some people didn't like. He was wearing a shirt that had a uh, brightly coloured shirt, mostly reds, and had images of uh, scantily clad women over it. And apparently this was a, a terrible thing to do for anybody, you know. The fact that the shirt was made for him by a woman, given to him as a gift, was uh, beside the point, but uh, anyway, I guess that's life these days, isn't it? And Lewis Hamilton won his second Formula One World Championship by 67 points. Amongst the celebrities who passed away that year were Shirley Temple, Mickey Rooney, Atro Geiger, the uh, designer of the Alien from the Alien movies, Jack Bruce of Cream, Rick Mayo, the comedian, comic actor, writer, Robin Williams, everybody's favourite comedian, Tad Trap. Uh, sad to see him go, but sad to see all of these people go. But <laughs> Alvin Stardust, one of uh, the 80s favourite rock stars, pop stars really, uh, Lauren Bacall, Richard Attenborough, the actor, director, brother of David, John Rivers, Mike Smith, the uh, BBC Radio 1 DJ and broadcaster, Peaches Geldof, she was only 24, already had two kids, passed away in much the same manner as her mother did. Harold Ramis, the uh, Ghostbuster fellow, played uh, Spangler in the movies. Bob Hoskins, Kate Amara, who I knew best as uh, the Rani in Doctor Who. Yeah, I was rather hoping that the uh, that the uh, Town Lord, who turned out to be the Master Missy, was the Rani, but uh, an opportunity missed, I think. Eli Wark, the actor. Tommy Ramone of the Ramones. Bobby Womack and uh, James Garner. Uh, remember he was uh, Jim Rockford in the Rockford Files back in the 70s, 80s. 
But of course, the uh, really exciting news for me that year was, uh, or two things. One, uh, Worldcon was in Britain that year. Took place in London at the Excel Centre and uh, I had uh, pre-purchased my ticket at least you know, three or four years in, in advance of this event. So I had uh, a full weekend planned in the big smoke. Creatures running around me. And I stayed at my cousin's house while I was there. So, so basically, I, I was commuting from her home to where. So I was commuting from her home to the east end of London, and uh, so that took about what, a couple of hours every day, which was fine by me because I'd leave her home about half past nine, ten o'clock in the morning, and then I'd uh, leave the convention about eight o'clock in the evening. So I was okay with that. Good. Uh, it was a pretty good event. Uh, I think I did some vlogs on it. Uh, and I did some vlogs on my brand new camera. <laughs> I bought a GH3, Panasonic Lumix GH3, which just happens to be the exactly same camera that I'm filming with today. Uh, this is what it looks like. And, and uh, yes, yeah, so a little background of the GH3. The GH3 was the Panasonic Lumix semi-pro camera at the time. It was a, a, a genuine hybrid camera. It did video and photography equally well. Master of both, if you like. One thing that it had above its competitors at the time was a really good battery life. Because um, I was able to use the, this one, one battery in the camera all day at the conventions because I got the camera in August which is just before the convention started and so the first proper use this camera got was that weekend in London at the convention so basically a, a fully charged battery in the morning then I'd get home or get back to my cousin's house in the evening download all the pictures and I still have you know at least a quarter to a third power left and that's like all day filming and taking photographs photographs such as these. Uh, I'll just let them fly by while, while I'm talking. And uh, so yeah, it turned out to be a very good camera. Served me well all that time. And uh, it's currently for sale if you want it. Uh, no obligation to buy, but uh, it was a pretty good convention. Had a good time. The th thing about the convention, it was held on at one end. They're taking up one end of the Excel Center. And uh, because when I got off the uh, Docklands Light Railway to go there, I got off at the uh, station for XL, which is, and then I had to walk all the way to the other end of the uh, XL Centre, which took you know, a good 10, 15 minutes, just a straight walking, a straight line. Yeah, and while I was there on a Saturday afternoon, I met up some friends, and my friend, Taz, told me, uh, there's another station on the DLR, which gets you right at the other end of the uh, Excel Center, right where the convention was, so <laughs> so good news for me there. So, so that was my weekend, and uh, good times had by all. So, link to the vlogs I made for that, if I did. I did vlog in dinner. Links, links to the vlog in the space below. Which way am I going? Continue that way. So that was part of my. Uh, that was part of my uh, 2014 vlog when I was, what was I, how old was I then? 46, because I'm good at maths. No, not bad at maths. Anyway, 46 I was that year. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. One more thing, while I was uh, in London at the, uh, East, at the uh, World Con Convention, <laughs> while I was in London at the World Con Convention, I decided that, that I'd stay an extra day. Uh, so instead of coming home on, two, on the Monday, I, uh, dis I uh, stayed an extra night. I phoned up work to let them know that uh, yeah, I'm going to miss another day of work, which they were okay with. wasn't too busy at that work. And uh, my cousin let me stay there tonight. Uh, so why did I do this? Uh, well, 
two things really. Uh, the first one, which is coincidental, it meant I spent some extra time at the convention because it was still going on all the way through Monday evening, where I met uh, uh, some very nice people, including uh, Darusha Wan, whose book I'm reading right now. One of whose books I'm reading right now. But now we're the best of friends. <laughs> and uh, but the main reason for staying the extra day was uh, this one was arriving in at Heathrow the next day, the next morning. <laughs> so uh, I stayed the extra day, changed my uh, coach ticket, and uh, so on Tuesday morning went straight into Heathrow. Met my friend, had a few drinks of tea and coffee. Because uh, interesting enough. Uh, she was visiting her, her family again, and her mother was coming as well, so... But her mother was coming on a different flight, which... I don't know why that was, but... Um, and so she was going to have to wait for like two to three hours in the airport for her mother to land. She was landing on the same day, so... So she spent that time with me, had a nice chat, took some snaps, as you can see. And uh, she's a bit less camera shy this time. <laughs> Or rather, a bit less video camera shot this time. <laughs> so she's applying some makeup. What? So you're applying some makeup, yeah. preparing for. <laughs> yeah, preparing for the old ladies. There you go, this was uh, Leanne, my favourite ugly bug. <laughs> of course, she's not ugly at all, she's a very pretty woman. And quite beautiful too. Anyway. That's all for today and I'm uh, going to get home and edit this and I'll see you all tomorrow.